again. <laughs> hey guys, um, welcome to our 14th and final Saturday night love show for the N H S. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I fun. like it. Um, so if you're wondering why is Coco wearing sunglasses, it's just because we're in quite a sunny spot. But I will take them off when we're part way through. Yeah, suddenly it just the sun just bursts through the the clouds there. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, anyways, let's start off because we don't really want to take up much of your time. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> it's been such a privilege to share our lockdown Saturday night with all of you. We're so happy to announce that just a few hours ago, we reached our goal of raising 10,000 mm. pounds mm. for the frontline workers of the NHS. <laughs> None of this could have been possible without the generous kindness of our generous generosity <laughs> and kindness of our donors our wonderful hard writing working group of volunteers so thanks very much to each and every one of you yay thank you everyone <laughs> so uh, in keeping with our weekly theme um which is the 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 theme of why we started um this 14 weeks ago is i would put coax up for your sunglasses on rather than i can't see your face anymore <laughs> sorry no uh, really. sorry we lose our track uh train of thought so easily so anyway so our the main theme and the, and the reason why we well quite innocently started this what 14 weeks ago was because we wanted to do shout outs to um nhs heroes of the week um as well as um thanking anyone that um donated during that week so um in saying that, and as our last show, we um, would like to pay tribute um, tonight to an incredibly um, dedicated and hardworking um, lady um, that works for the NHS. Um, her name is Helen Green. I hope Helen uh, is watching or she's able to watch this um, later. Um, but Helen um, is a nurse at Kingston Hospital um, she was a nurse and then she trained as a midwife and uh, she had just gone back recently um, into nursing um, she's we, she was nominated by um, a, a really a, another amazing lady called Rebecca Gresson and she just you know just, just told us this her story um, of how incredible she is that she has three kids um, and she's also just been awarded um, yeah, it's a big week for you. Uh, she's just been awarded a KHFT um. 2020 award from the Kingston Hospital for two of our favorite virtues, which are compassion com and respect. Right on. So, well done, Helen Green. We just wanted to do our teeny tiny <laughs> shout out to you on our teeny tiny show, but, um, We'll be very excited to get in touch with you and find out your favorite um, mask and we'll hand make you a mask. So, yeah. So thank you, Helen Green, for all your hard work and thanks, Rebecca, for nominating you. Yay. Um, this wasn't planned, but we might as well just say it. What is a midwife? Oh. Good question. Like, ooh, and it's a perfect time to do some shout outs. <laughs> we have, ooh! Millie uh, Cooper! Millie Cooper! Hi, hi Millie! Hi, Millie! Hi, hi LV! Hi! Oh, I saw so many. Oh, there's so many. I, they're all going up and down. Oh, we see Ginny. Ginny. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do. Uh, we, Coco and I agree because we get really distracted and excited by seeing all the names <laughs> that just keep popping up of the people that we know. So we're going to try to just do shout outs um, at the end. Yeah, or yeah, well, every every few minutes. So, um, yeah, I'll let Coco take over. <laughs> Sorry, it's just <laughs> so hard to look away. Um, anyways, this week's donors. Oh yes, 
We've got Tina, Gavin. By the way, you can see all like all the comments on this. It's so it's so dead. <laughs> Miss Gresson, apparently Beck Gresson. Um, <laughs> Beck Gresson. Yep. Nickname. Okay. <laughs> it's like we call Coco Copes. Sorry. Just putting this down. Anne Rogers. Thanks, Anne. Betty Davick. Betty Davick. Yes. Miss Young! Yay! She, she works at our school and so does Miss Gresson. Miss Gresson's a music teacher and Miss Young is the, the, the sports teacher. Uh. We've got Ginny. Hi, Ginny. Hello, everyone. Oh, my gosh. I know. I am grown up. <laughs> no, LV said you've grown up. Okay, this is what happens is we totally lose our train of thought and we just Rachel forget everything. Rachel from UV and Deborah. Rachel goes to our school. Yes. UV is one of the class names, just if you're wondering. <laughs> Julie Harvey. Yay, Julie, thank you so much. Julie, I wasn't able, I don't think I've returned that message yet. I, I know that you, Julie's this lovely lady I know back in the States and she was just very generous and made us a and donation, also, thank you. And all of our anonymous donors. Wow, again, so many anonymous donor, donors and yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to make you mass and you'll get an email from Julie, our volunteer, um, who will get in touch with you to see if you would like to, um, yeah, get a mass for your lovely donation, um, thank you. Just to let you know, the background noise, if you can hear barking is our dog, just, just barking, it's, oh, yeah. it's fine, it's That's nothing. the dog. <laughs> right so i think it's my turn isn't it yeah, okay so oh no i know what i was going to jump back to sorry what i was supposed to say before is a uh, shout out to um we do this every week as well and we you know it's just all like a you know amazing sort of circle of life or circle of love circle of love i guess but we have so many volunteers um that have helped us and volunteers in, in lots of different ways. So uh, I'll start by saying um, our volunteers uh, that, you know, are like the physical engine in terms of helping us make, make the mass. So we make mass, they make mass, somebody, Julie cuts the mass and cuts the, I mean, it's just like this kind of like this sort of cottage industry of really. Um, I love cottage pie. And we love cottage pie, uh, <laughs> cottage industry, people working together. So um, those, those um, hardworking volunteers that are doing um, making the ass uh, with us are Sumi, Zita, Annabelle, Edward, and of course, from the beginning, Julie, our neighbor, who's been the CEO of um, coordination of all of it. Clap so, for Julie. Woohoo, Julie, thank you. So, and everyone. <laughs> completely unplanned, but just popped into my head. You know, there's all these other, I don't know, there's just countless people that have just been so uh, helpful, inspirational, and very generous with their time in terms of giving um, lots and lots of advice to us. Um, and in that respect, I'm, I'm going to be talking about our phase two. So, it's our last show. I'm going to just shout out. Um, our friends, uh, so many friends, like my dearest friend, Roz, Rosalind Milani. She's just from day one been like such a big supporter. Um, you know, I'm working with this uh, amazing girl right now called Millie Cooper. She is this sort of uh, designer extraordinaire uh, in the whole digital world and fashion and magazines and all this kind of stuff. So my friend Amanda Dyer has been so, such an inspiration for our phase two, which we'll tell you. Uh, Carrie Goldberg, just, just so many people have been giving their time and are always there on the phone and just FaceTiming, all this, you know, texting and just, you know, not to mention just being generally supportive because um, it is, you know, it's been quite an intense 14 weeks in lockdown, you know, trying to sort of, you know, accomplish what we need to on, on a family level as well as try to make this all, um, this carry on as well. So thank you. Uh, there's like 30 people, um, uh, photographers that I've been speaking to that are, um, willing to give up some of their time as well. Um, Marcella Martinelli, she's been, you know, providing us with some amazing contacts and advice and, and styling and all different things. So 
just thank you to all of our friends and our family. I mean, my father, he's like in the middle of America, he's donating, you know, weekly to our, our NHS uh, fundraiser. So um, thank you to all everyone. So I'll shut up. And I think, is it my turn or your turn after that? It's my, my turn. So, uh, well, I think what I've, I think our next thing we were supposed to do was to talk about um, the, the hard earned money. Yeah, the hard earned money. Exactly. <laughs> so we have, well, I'm going to take a second. Coco Stein, why don't you do some of your shout outs? I know that you're, you love to do that. There's a whole, whole stack of, oh my gosh. Hi, Laura Ducott. Oh, hi, Millie Cooper. You're very welcome to be led into this. Colin Cameron. Colin Cameron. Colin Cameron. Hi, oh. Tina. Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. Miss. Ron Dietrich. Hi, Miss Rebecca Hardy. So, oh, gosh, there's some names. Uh, oh, oh, folks, wow. She just kind of scrolled with her thumb and like 100 <laughs> names just went in front of us. So <laughs> anyways, um, we'll do some more. Then, but thank you guys for watching. That's Thanks. just so cool and unnerving at the same time. Uh, so what we wanted to say, um, you know, rather than just being vague, like, thanks for your 10 gram, we'll see you guys later. We kind of felt sort of responsible that we should make sure we, you know, um, not only, you know, get it forwarded to the, in the best way possible, but also share with you what we've done. So as of today, we, as of a few hours ago, actually, I think, uh, the record setting final donation uh, that pushed us to 10,000 pounds was Tina Waters. So thank you, Tina. So like a little, you know, momentous, I'm the last donor uh, award that you should get. Um, and so um, as we got that to that, just recently we finalized our purchase order. Uh, we have an incredible contact. We've finalized our purchase order and we're using 100% of the money to buy much needed PPE equipment. Um, and we plan quite not that it's any different than anything else we do. Uh, we're planning in a, quite an unusual way <laughs> to distribute it directly to. It's in my notes. It says to the Fortnite workers, frontline Fortnite. workers. <laughs> Fortnite's a game, isn't it? Uh, directly to the Fortnite Fort frontline workers. <laughs> so we have, as everyone does pockets of sources within the NHS, um, you know, within the hospitals and, and various different um, thing, uh, various different jobs. But we have heard that there's still uh, that shortage and that there's still this, you know, kind of rationing of PPE and so on. So we, in our sort of pockets of not friends, but just people we've met and, you know, throughout this whole 14 weeks, we're going to uh, personally, um, Give our, <laughs> give our PPE equipment, we're going to try directly to as many frontline workers as we can. Now, the exciting news is with this crazy, amazing uh, connection, uh, uh, person that we know has ordered, not only ordered our PPE equipment, but has given us a percentage off of the cost, not the sale price, but the cost of the price. So um, we've been able to get, I would say, probably 25% more PP equipment than we would have, you know, if we had not gotten this great discount. So we are able to purchase the funds. All of our funds that we've raised will be able to buy us 500 uh, surgical gowns. And these surgical gowns are, you know, um, these quite advanced surgical gowns that can only uh, that are the gowns that are required in the sort of COVID-19 slash, you know, highly um, infectious areas where they need to be, you know, sterilized and reinforced seams. And, you know, so quite, quite not, a, not a cheap product. So we've been able to buy 500 of these surgical gowns that look like this, right? This is straight from our manufacturer. So we got 500 of those. And we also have bought... 2,200 FFP2 medical respirators. So these are the most sought after, most, you know, protective, most everything for, 
people working in those highly infectious environments. And I'll just show you, I mean, it's kind of a <laughs> copy from the factory, but you know, just to give you the idea, it's this really the most, you know, sort of top of the line advanced protective mask, or as I call them, respirators. Uh, yeah, so, and we've even been given <laughs> a picture of our boxes of PPE that is going to be packed and shipped to us. So, um, yeah, so we'll be, we'll be, uh, doing, you know, all we can as soon as we get that to, to divide it as fairly as we can. Obviously it's, you know, in the great scheme of things, it's, it's, it's not a lot, but it's, it's something. And we also want to say we all, we are going to include in that distribution, some of the care homes, the care workers and the care homes, because from what I understand, uh, that's just not necessarily you know, under the umbrella of NH NHS, but they are indeed frontline workers. Right, so that's my, I think, Coke, so I think it's your turn, bub. So, Meow. thanks guys. I hope you're excited as we are that we've been able to accomplish this massively amazing goal and, you know, you can actually see what we've done with your money. Right, so should we, should we, are they bored? Should we give them a, a Coco, uh, an Ava song? Yeah. Right. So we were gonna save this to the end, but apparently, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> apparently, Ava is literally about to have a stroke because we told her she could save. We were gonna do it as our kind of Catherine Jenkins she could finale, sing. but she wants to sing a song, and I don't think we're gonna be able to get through the rest of this unless we um, let her. So, Ava, Ava, wanna come over? Ready? And here's Ava. Remember, Ginny is on here. Hello, girls and boys. <laughs> I'm going to be singing the rainbow song today. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Listen with your eyes. Listen with your eyes and sing what you sing with me. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to twist you all oh, the way around. Go. Here we go. Twist and the my sun feet. has finally... Oh, oh my, the sun has finally gone in. <laughs> and... Now we have our sunglasses off and we're ready to finish. Thank you so much, Ava. You're welcome, our, Mommy. Our, our finale come early. So, uh, what's next on our list, Koki? Next. Oh, okay, so. Zaza Boom, chapter two. Yes, this is, we're super excited to tell you guys about our next chapter, our next phase two. This is Coco's, I'm gonna shut up. Go ahead. So. We've been working behind the scenes on a very special and highly unusual new concept and we're so excited to share it with you. First, we learned two incredibly valuable lessons in so our we, Zazap Boom family fundraiser. Right, so we, it, we learned two incredibly valuable lessons in our uh, fundraiser, our family fundraiser. I just make sure they got that. And what are these two? Valuable lessons that we have learned. Our 2020 Summer Loving Collection. Nope, wrong page. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did I get that wrong? Like, yep, there you go, those are your two. Those are the ones. One two. is that so many people, regardless of their income, are always looking for their chance to help others, and especially in such hard times. Sorry for the noise, but that is my sister. <laughs> oh my. Um, I'm also going to say, like, a superhero at the end, so, uh, keep watching. <laughs> Hard time. If you... So, if you incentivize people... People with a cool, authentic, well-made product, they will be more than happy to donate to charity. Right. So, yeah, so we, we, we realized, uh, yeah, like... There's so many people out there that, well, A, so many people we had never met before. Um, obviously, you know, uh, we've met so many amazing new people. Um, not 
even face to face, but just um, new people and followers, uh, you know, followers of Zaza Boom. And also just friends and family and people we haven't spoken to in years, like my cousin Cindy Dugan Miller, who just popped up on there. Uh, yeah, so we, we realized that, you know, charity and giving isn't, it's not just something, you know, for the rich. It's like, it's when people really feel like they can, you know, I think people really, uh, it, it makes people feel really good, obviously, to give and to be a part of something that's bigger. And I think even if in our own tiny, tiny way, we've been able to bring uh, bring people together in that way, it's, it's just been, it's been great for us. It's been great for the fundraiser, but it's also just made us realize that as Coco said. And then the second thing that she said is, it's more practical, but it was kind of like, who? Um, if you incentivize people but to donate, meaning like we just wasn't really, weren't really thinking about it and just being silly and fun, we thought we'd make these masks. Um, didn't know we would make 10 million of them, but we thought, okay, so this is our phase two, Miss Coco. Uh, so, right, so um, what we are doing, having those two um, realizations after our 14 weeks is we are looking to do something that combines our love for charity and combines our love of design and creativity. So what we are about to, to launch and wait for it because it's something, it's quite, it's, it's, I don't know if it's unheard of. It's, uh, I don't think it exists. So what we're going to do is we are going to in 96 hours, <laughs> so Wednesday, the Tim's birthday is Monday, 50. So on June the 17th, um, we are going to be launching um, the very first charity driven luxury brand. So, um, you know, using all of my sort of history as a designer, um, as well as our kind of um, uh, our identity as being, um, a tech, you know, having the textiles, you know, and I hand draw all the textiles and we create all these cool prints. So what we're going to be doing um, and launching in 96 hours is the first charity driven luxury brand. So what does that mean? That sounds like, what does that mean? Right? So we're going to launch a website. We're going to donate a hundred percent of all profits. To charity to charities in crisis so you know our, our just giving page 10,000 pounds that's gonna stop we, you know that's our milestone and this is gonna begin a new chapter which is going to mean that for the first hundred days of our a hundred days after our launch on the 17th so somebody can do the math get out a get out a calendar and tell me when that is but for the first hundred days a hundred percent of all profits will go uh, probably to the NHS until we have all of our insiders tell us that the NHS is, is firmly uh, on their footing and are well stocked with PPE, then we'll stop. But because we're a small private uh, company, um, we will be able to be very agile, agile and, you know, um, support the next charity in need. So, you know, we foresee that probably being you know, in the coming months, you know, the growing population of homeless people, um, you know, probably the imminent need uh, at some point in the future for um, food banks and things to just, you know, depending on how this whole thing shakes down, because actually none of us really know, including our government, um, we just want to be able to take for the next 100 days, let's say halfway through that 100 days, there's something that seems um, to be logically a better place for our support, we'll just start generating it there, right? Um, we don't have any red tape. We don't have any kind of um, hierarchy other than her being my boss. Hello. <laughs> Whatever. But uh, Ava's like, a dictator. Ava's a dictator. Um, <laughs> so the first 100 days, 100% of profits go to charities in crisis. Forever after more, for after the 100%, after the 100 days, 25% of all profits will go to charities in crisis. So uh, anyone that's pretty good with math, uh, there's 75% left over of profits. And I frankly have no idea what we'll do or how we'll evolve, um, you know, or, or what will happen. I, I personally just want to go and lay on a beach 
if I get any profits at all someday, uh, with Laura Ducat in, in like, LA. uh, in LA. <laughs> L-A. So anyways, but Coco wants to give the rest of the 75% to the homeless, which is, you know, she's so cool. That's why she's my boss. Um, but, Ow. so, we are launching January 17th. Our website is zazaboom.co.uk. So all the other, uh, anyone that knows me, all of the other plans of, you know, over the past 14 months of doing all this other stuff we were going to do, um, is just gone. We are so, we're so, um, happy to be able to be useful and to have the benefit of just all of the connections and the inspiration we've had over the first 14 weeks, last 14 weeks. So we're going to just do it all. And we're going to, I get to continue to design. So I'm going to design mm. seasonal collections. I'm going to design new print collections. I'm going to design new products. And we are basically going to um, continue doing this. And what we hope is that we'll begin to start a new concept of hmm, trying to create a new concept that indulging in luxury um, is, um, is as exciting as indulging and in giving, right? So it's this indulging and in giving. So, um, you know, we're working on all of our kind of taglines, literally, you know, 96 hours away. We're, we're finalizing everything, but we're going to launch our first capsule collection with 20 products, all with our Zaza Boom prints. And we are launching with four prints in four colorways. It's a summer, it's a very um, uplifting and colorful collection for all of our aspirational beach dreams, um, whether they be in our gardens or whether they be someday in somewhere more tropical. So we are not gonna show you the whole collection, but we are gonna just quickly flash a couple of cool things. And yeah, I hope you guys will tune in and come to our website and shop to your drop because it's only gonna build your own karma. Um, because all of the profits are going to go to charity. Um, one thing I want to add, most exciting thing, um, other than the fact it's going to charity is that everything is custom made in London. So that means we don't have a stock room in the garage, you know, no sweatshops. We got, everything is made to order artisanal people around, um, the UK are making them to order. So especially for you. Um, at incredibly, incredibly fair prices. Um, we haven't taken extraordinary, uh, crazy markups, but we, you know, it's, they're handmade products one at a time. Um, we're gonna continue to hand make masks and there will be an incentive on the website um, that will be, you know, you spend this amount of money, you get a free um, matching <laughs> made to measure mask with your bikini, right? So you could also just buy the mask, but we wanna continue doing this very, community sort of um, volunteer spirit um, uh, that's not only promoting the community but also just this whole um, amazing thing and of the artisanal process of actually creating authentic products that are, you know that are not Amazon Prime and I'm the first person to love Amazon Prime by the way but just saying this is a, a, a very new concept so we're gonna show you a couple items Coco you ready to help me yeah here we go so I think we might have to do so here we go so we're not gonna show you everything and bore you but we're gonna have men's things we're gonna have women's we're gonna have a, a couple of things for kids we're gonna have you know some really really lovely cool um, bikinis for girls um, when I say girls I mean women we're not really doing kids swim yet um, we're gonna have some really cool sort of crazy, um, cool men's board shorts, you know, and you can see our very first label, guys. You're the first to see it. So we got our Zaza Boom label. Apart from Contrada. <laughs> <laughs> so then we've got beach towels. So you can, you know, great, these things are obviously great for anybody that loves color, loves pattern, loves fashion, but also really amazing gifts. Um, and what else do I want to show you? So, um, really beautiful kind of velvet kimono robes. Um, 
we're just showing you a couple of the prints and about uh, I'm going to say 90% of our samples are going to are going to land here on Monday. So another. So we're going to have, you know, a, a, a wider variety of prints that just showing you our very first prints. So these are like waterproof, uh, you know, men's shorts with um, the great mesh on the inside. And anyways, lots and lots of crazy stuff that you'll never even imagine um, that you'll see on the day of our launch. So really special, beautiful things like this, <sighs> like beautiful, gorgeous handmade brushes. Um, what a perfect gift. You could buy that for anyone from eight to 88, right? Um, and they're all handmade one at a time in England at really amazing fair prices. So it just looks like for me, that just looks like a bag of sweets. So, um, the only last thing we're going to show, I'll show you these because this gets everybody quite excited <laughs> and it's my favorite thing in lockdown and it's sunglasses. So you can get your very own pair of matching sunglasses to your bikini people. So now I'm going to tell you one story. It's quite, a, it's quite inspirational and, and a girl that we know, Cox, come over here and let's tell the story about Annie and then we'll sign off. A girl we know, a friend we know, who's also a designer um, called Annie. She was uh, visited us last week. We were just chatting. We hadn't seen her in ages. Um, and before she left, she asked us if she could have uh, a piece of our fabric, of our, of our new, um, one of our new fabrics that had just arrived that we were going to be using to make masks, you know, and photograph for the website and just, you know. So we gave her this, she turned up today um, with the intention of giving us this thing she made with this one piece of fabric um, and letting us auction it off for our charity. And it's just <laughs> so cool that we have to just show you. <laughs> she made this incredible pair of sort of ballerina style slippers in suede, right? And they tie up. You'll see them photographed on pretty models on the website and all this kind of stuff. But this is like, she actually handmade this pair of shoes, hand stitched it. Um, the whole base of it is in our Martini Extra Olives print. And it's just extraordinary. So she obviously, I mean, we're gonna prob what we're gonna probably do, cause these took her 15 hours. Oh, to make. So 15 to hours. 15 days. 15 hours. So <laughs> what we're going to suggest is that maybe what we'll do um, is we'll, you know, we'll do, a we'll do a limited edition. You know, we'll say we're only making 12 pairs ever of these shoes and this print. Um, maybe give a couple different colorways, but they'll all be made to order by Annie, right? And so 100% of all those profits, whatever we pay her or whatever, whatever we work out, whatever's left, we just give it to the charity. And somehow we're going to try to, when we pay it forward to char charity, we're going to try somehow to do it in your name for the purchase. But I haven't figured that part out yet. Somebody much smarter than me will, will come up with some <laughs> way to do that. But anyway, so we want to actually be able to see our people, our, our, our customers see themselves pay it forward. So that's all we have for tonight, Coco. Um, I'm going to sign off and also do some. Uh, okay, so <laughs> this is our last show, and I can't believe it, but Coco just wants to do one handstand, and that is, this is the longest show ever, isn't it? Okay, Shelly. okay so why don't you say, why don't you say a couple things to uh, uh, all of these millions uh all of our friends going by here oh, okay so apparently annie is the cea and the l annie, <gasps> the shoemaker okay. and cea i don't know that else. okay so go annie saying thank you i love that annie oh millie cooper says uh i'll be buying a pair millie cooper's buying a pair so beautiful uh uh Jenny, i don't know what you mean by pink stuff um <laughs> so let's see uh girl Coast trip. Of rice. Oh, we've got so many stuff of people just uh i know a travel agent Ooh. somebody's talking about going to costa rica january more says fabulous thanks guys we um 
Laura Ducott says that she's she's gonna write that in blood that I'm coming out to hang out with her in LA. Sam Woodhouse, all oh, thumbs up, Coco. I'll give you I mean, a thumbs up. I know that we're all in the same car here, but it's, it's all about this kid, right? Just like, oh my God. All right, get ready for your, you're ready for your sign off and your, your last handstand of the Saturday Night Love Show. Oh, yay. All right, one more for the finale. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're done. Um, did you tell them about the website? Yeah, oh, I think I did. Let's say it one more time. You do it, Coax, you're better. Just, you, you don't know what it is. It's Zaza Boo. <laughs> okay, sorry, here, let me move it. I'm so sorry. Everybody's gonna be getting sick of this. Here we go. Okay, okay, so, please go to, and I'm not gonna do this fast like on the people on Kiss, you know? Let me listen to that in the car. Um, www.zazaboom, Zazaboom is all one word, dot co dot uk. UK is where we live. Yeah. Um, we love spending our Saturday night shows with our Saturday nights. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Have a good rest of the week. Well, beginning on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bye! Bye! Zazabu!